Hello, it's Ellen. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome for the first time if you're new. I'm gonna get right into it. I saw something on TikTok that I had to try. I couldn't resist. I... It's like a bug. It's in my head now. I can't not try it because it was too cool. I was amazed the first time I saw it. So now I have to do it. The video I'm talking about, which you might have seen since I'm pretty sure it went viral, was of a girl making a camera obscura with her room. So basically she blocked out all the light in her room except for one little hole that she left for light to shine through the window. And it basically projected everything that was outside into her room. Which which I thought was just the absolute coolest thing I had ever seen. So now I'm gonna do it. Or at least I'm gonna attempt to do it. But the main thing that I'm using for this are is black leaf bags. Can't really see light through them, which is exactly what we need because we want to block out all the light except for the tiny little hole that we're gonna have in the window. So have these, have black electrical tape, and I have scissors. So we're gonna see what happens. I did come out here before I started filming and get all the dead bugs out of this room. I kid you not, it is a magnet for stink bugs and beetles out here, which are my least favorite type of bug. It annoys me so much. Here's the thing too, like I, it's not even that I hate bugs in general, it's mostly just stink bugs and beetles. I'm not a fan of spiders either, to be honest, but like, some of them I can manage, you know? Bees? I love bees. I could kiss a bee. You know, like, I- it's not that I have a problem with bugs in general. I think bees are wonderful. Not the biggest fan. I- I don't- I don't do wasps. I don't do yellow jackets. Cause they're mean. But, bumblebees are fine. As long as they keep their distance, they're pretty- they're nice to look at, you know? They're just- they're just, you know, getting some pollen from the flower. That's fine. I don't mind that, you know? Honeybees literally can come up and land on my hand and I will be fine. I've let them do it before. That's totally fine. I don't mind. I don't mind all bugs. Roly polies kind of cute. We'll just relocate them. You know, like little, little millipedes? That's fine. That's fine. I'll just relocate them. But stink bugs and beetles, what the heck? They're all over the place out here. I- if you're a bug watching this, I am a bug advocate, okay? But if you're a stink bug or a beetle, stay away from me. If that- I'm fine with bugs as long as they're outside. You know, if they just stay where they belong, that's totally fine. I don't mind that. But just like, stay outside. Inside's my space. I'm not gonna kill a bug if it's outside. I'll leave it alone, you know? I literally, my some of my friends used to call me like the ant protector or something because a bunch of people were just like killing ants that were outside. And I was like, they're, they're outside, they're just vibing. Just let them have you know, your picnic table crumbs. And that's it, all right? It's not that big of a deal. They can just have them, all right? But don't, don't kill them if they're outside. But if they're inside, what the heck, man? You had one rule. You had one, the only rule is to stay outside and look where you are. Came right back to me, okay? Sorry, bug rant. That's, that's, that's what I need to say about that. Okay, so it's not perfect. My next idea is to get some blankets out here and try to put those also over the pre-existing leaf bags. We'll see how that goes. I smuggled these out of my house in hopes that they are thick enough to block out the remaining light on these two windows. And I also have a blanket to cover this one. So hopefully that will be enough. In case you were wondering, this is a tuning hammer for our kalimba. Not a hammer, that's why it's so small. But I don't have a hammer right now, and this is the best I have. So, slightly difficult to use for a more practical purpose, but that's fine. I have to take the trash jacket off because it is getting warm in here. Still not perfect, but it's good enough for right now. I'm gonna try and cover that window a little bit better, and then we'll see. I think I'm literally gonna have to put tape over the cracks in the door, because even that is letting light in. So no dice, but I'm gonna try, firstly, to do it another day when it's sunnier. Okay, round two. I'm in my bathroom now, 
and this only has one window and it's really small. So, hoping this will work. The deed is done. Now it's time to block out all of the light in the rest of my room and hope for the best. Okay, so I don't know how well you guys can see it, but that is the tree in my front yard projected onto my door. It looks pretty cool. I'll try and get some better photos and like boost the lighting a little bit so that you can see better. As you can see, it ended up working out pretty well. Um, it looks really cool when a car passes by and I actually went out in my front yard with my dog and chilled in front of the camera so that you can see how that looked. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Hope it was entertaining in some way, shape, or form. And I hope to see you back in the future. Subscribe. Just kidding. Don't do it if you don't want to. But I'd love to see you back. Alright, bye.